everyone. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about all of my summer fashion essentials. If you guys haven't checked out the first part of this video, which is my summer beauty essentials, be sure to check that video out. I will link it down below as well as insert a card. So today is gonna to be all about my summer fashion essentials. So if you guys are interested, just keep watching. I always bring this out every single summer and it is just a plain, white button down shirt and it does desperately need to be steamed but just for the sake of showing you this is my button down shirt by everlane and this is 70 percent cotton and 30 percent linsel and it's just a very breathable white shirt you know just because it is the color white doesn't mean that you will not sweat to death if you take a long sleeve outside to 90 degree weather so aside from the fact that it's a white button down you have to make sure that the material is very breathable and just not too thick i also really really love tying it at the front like i'll do one or two buttons at the top and then i'll tie it and make it a crop top so very versatile and i just i can't get enough of these white button downs for the summertime you also want like a staple tank obviously because it's very very hot outside and you just need something that you can just throw on and not suffocate in so i think that a tank top no matter what style it is or if it's loose or fitted just any type of tank top but today i'm gonna talk about my ribbed tank top from everlane and i should just like keep a little voice memo on my phone and press play at this point because I have mentioned this so many times already and I'm sorry if I'm being repetitive, but I just use this to death and this is my basic white tee for the summertime. <laughs> I just, I really, really love the vibe of this. I love how it looks like you didn't try, but somehow you still look put together. And this is 95% pima cotton and five percent elastane i just I, i'm not gonna get too into it because i've mentioned this tank top a million times before i also have it in black and it is just a staple for me this summer next are shorts in general and i used to be very very into denim shorts like cutoffs like the cutoff levi's and i still love them but this summer i've just really been into a more elegant looking short yes the denim shorts look very cute and stuff but they can write up and they could be extremely extremely uncomfortable i found some shorts this year that i really really love and i think that i can wear these shorts in several different ways and it's just a very versatile piece i've mentioned one of the colors before but i also got it in black and they are from princess polly and they're just the i think they're called the miami logic short and i'm pretty sure this is linen and if it's not linen it's like a linen blend or something because it's a very very breathable material very very comfortable and i love how high this sits it's not an exaggerated high-waisted short but it is a very comfortable like it just sits perfectly right where i want it so i can get away with wearing this with pretty much anything and i love them so much that i got them in black as well and this brings me to my next essential which if you guys know me by now you would know that this was going to be a part of this video and it is linen i think that if it's one thing that really makes an outfit a summer outfit it is linen and not just linen any breathable material like i think in my june favorites i mentioned my pants my black pants from la causa and that in my opinion is a very breathable material and it's 100 percent tensile so just anything like that but linen is just my absolute favorite i really think that it looks so elegant i have incorporated linen into my summer wardrobe for as long as i could remember this next thing is not necessarily something that is crucial to the summer wardrobe but this year in particular i just love high-waisted wide leg pants so much that this next thing has really become an essential and it is crop tops and i'm very very picky when it comes to crop tops because i don't like 
showing too much of my stomach but just showing a little bit of it with very high-waisted jeans this one is from zara and i'm pretty sure they still have it because i got it pretty recently and it's just this ribbed kind of like natural colored crop top and this one is pretty cropped so i do like to wear this with my very high waist pants so i love pairing this with my everlane utility pant or just anything that comes up very very high on the waist and the next top is from princess polly and it is a tie front top and these are my favorite types of crop tops because i feel like even though it is a crop top and it gives you that crop top vibe since it ties at the front some of it is still covering your belly so you can get away with wearing maybe high-waisted jeans that don't come up above your belly button or it shows your belly button a little bit because you're still hiding your stomach a little bit with this i don't know i know it sounds complicated but i'm just i'm very picky when it comes to crop tops but you can definitely make crop tops look chic and elegant it's just the way that you style it the first thing that i always put on here for the summertime are white bottoms any types of white bottoms whether it be a white skirt or white pants or white denim i just i cannot express how much i love um white pants like i i don't know if it's like a cuban thing i don't know if it's like a hispanic or miami thing but i've always loved white on white like i don't know i just think that it looks so like badass like i don't know i don't know if i've been watching too much queen of the south or i don't know what it is if you know how to style your pieces correctly like it, it's just there's nothing more beautiful than an all-white outfit in my opinion at least for this time of year so i have talked about these two pants that i'm going to talk about before but any white bottom so the first one are my white everlane utility pants and a lot of people are getting mad at me for mentioning this so often because i think everlane sold out in this color but i'm sure that they're working on bringing it back if they have sold out i don't know if they've restocked or anything but last time i checked it was sold out so i'm very sorry for mentioning these so often but i just i can't get enough of these pants they just fit so 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 good and they have managed to make a pant that is still a little form-fitted but wide at the same time and i did size down in these i'm usually a size six and i got these in a four and then my next ones are white denim so I've mentioned these before a million times, so I'm not going to sit here and talk about it for too long, but it's my white redone stovepipe jeans, and I am a size 28 in these. And these, aside from the fact that they are like a very heavy denim, they do give a little bit, like they stretch a little bit, but the shape kind of remains the same, so it just takes the shape of your body perfectly. It doesn't give you like the saggy butt, I like to call it that a lot of these kinds of jeans give you because redone jeans are tailored to make your figure look good so even if they do give a little bit and they stretch a tiny bit they still look very very good so i absolutely love and recommend these jeans i honestly think that these are my favorite jeans that i own the next essential for me is a summer dress and i feel like ever since last year i've been so into dresses i think that there's something so feminine about them and so elegant and pretty like it just instantly makes you look girly even if you're not the girliest you can also wear them as cover-ups like dresses are perfect if you're going to the beach and you just want to throw something on over your bathing suit the first one that i'm going to talk about is my polka dot dress which if you guys saw my uh summer outfit ideas you would have seen this and it hurts me to mention it because i got this in like the beginning of spring i think and i don't think zara has this exact dress anymore but i was able to find a lot of very very similar dresses so i will link those down below but it is just a flowy polka dot dress and i love how these polka dots are the perfect size <laughs> and it ties at the back and it has buttons so again very easy to put over like your bathing suit and stuff the next dress i also wore in my casual summer outfits video and it is this white linen dress by grana and my favorite thing about this dress is 
the buttons on the side and this at first i wasn't crazy about because it's not the most form-fitting dress it is very like straight and it can kind of wear you as opposed to you wear it if you don't know how to style it properly so if you guys saw my video i styled this with a crossover basket bag and just anything to kind of like cinch it a tiny bit but this is like the perfect vacation dress and the fact that it's 100 percent linen is also a big plus for me i just i really think it is such a beautiful beautiful dress and this would not be a summer essentials if i didn't talk about bathing suits and i'm only going to mention one bathing suit because it's not necessarily like the bathing suit itself but the style of it and the material of it is like an essential for me from now on because i just really love the way that it looks and it is a high cut ribbed bikini and it doesn't have to be ribbed necessarily but i just feel like for some reason ribbed bikinis like it just takes the shape of your body in such a way that other materials don't if that makes any sense so it's just this one it comes up pretty high on the hips it's very high cut and then the top is just like a plain strapless top which ties on the back so you can just make it fit you perfectly and i got this on zaffo i did purchase a couple of bathing suits before going to dominican republic in may and i was pleasantly surprised with all of them so you do have to kind of like do your research on zaffo you have to read the comments and you have to make sure that a lot of people are leaving positive reviews a lot of the girls leave pictures and stuff so you really have to see the reviews you can't just blindly go and shop on Zaffo in my experience so I did get this one in a large and it fits me perfectly and um, I'm like a medium on tops but since this one ties it doesn't really matter that it's a large because I can just really tie it so that it fits me right and even though I do love designer bikinis and I will splurge on a more expensive bikini if I find one that's pretty unique or that I really love the way that it fits and stuff I can't get mad at these more affordable stores coming out with pretty good quality bikinis moving into accessories my first essential is a hat and I'm not gonna lie I only really wear this one when i go to the beach or when i go on vacation but i have had this hat for so long i think for like three years now or four years i don't even know but i really love this hat i know that there are a lot more affordable dupes now but when i got this hat this was a pretty unique hat i got this on lack of colors which is an australian brand i just i i can't go to the beach or on vacation without it i just i really love the way that it transforms all of my outfits and it just adds that extra touch like when you feel like your outfit is missing something or it's just way too plain this just makes it look so much better next i have bags and i'm not gonna get too into these because i've just mentioned these to death already but straw bags or basket bags or canvas bags are everywhere just anything that brings like a very natural vibe to your outfits and the first one is this little bag right here and it is from zara but anything like this i also have my circular woven one i just love this material it just makes you look like you are ready for the beach at all times so just anything like this has really really been an essential for me for this time of year and also if you want something a little bigger market bags just any bag that looks like you're ready to go to like the market and pick some fresh fruits or anything like that so i've really been loving this one and this one is a dust bag that came with one of my other bags like i purchased a bag from Cezanne or Cezanne. i'm not 100 percent sure how to pronounce it till this day but i purchased a bag from them um i think like a year or two ago and this is the dust bag that came uh, the dust bag that you put over the bag to protect it from dust this is what i've been wearing <laughs> so it looks like this and i just really love again the natural vibe it gives it's just a canvas bag and you can get this effect with any canvas bag or those net bags that are very in right now i'll link some that i like down below but just anything like this i actually use this like for 
when I go on vacation, this is what I take to like go to the beach and stuff, which is awesome because I can just fold it and put it in my suitcase and it works as like a perfect catch-all or a perfect beach bag. For shoes, I've really, really been loving slides lately. I just love how they're so easy and they give such an effortless look to your outfit. So I've talked about these before. These are by Lokoa the label and I got these on Princess Polly and they're just this woven like tan colored leather slide and I've been wearing these to death like with every single outfit i think i mentioned espadrilles in last year's summer essentials and i still really 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 love them but i've also been loving these which kind of remind me of espadrilles but they're not they're like this rope material these just look like you're ready to go to the beach or like on the boat or something <laughs> I don't know, I really love them. I know that they're not everybody's cup of tea, but I just think they're such a statement shoe, even though the color is so subtle and like you would think it's a very subtle shoe, but it's not, it's definitely a statement. So you can pair these with like everything as well. And of course, since I live on a place that is so sunny year round, I just, I've always been a big fan of sunglasses and it's just an essential, but especially for this time of year. So the first pair are, these that I've mentioned a million times, but just any cat eye in general, I've been very, very, very into cat eye because I just love like how vintage it makes every outfit look. So I've been loving cat eye sunglasses and they're super, super on trend now. So these are my tortoiseshell ones and I got these from a seller on Poshmark, but I will link them. I think Amazon sells them the same exact pair So I'll link them down below super super inexpensive. I also have some from zero UV my white cat eyes and my black cat eyes are from Verite woman just any cat eye I've really been loving but I had to give a special mention to my hexagonal Ray-Bans because I just I love these I think that these are such a unique pair but they are definitely classics i love them just like i love my round ones i just i really really love everything that ray-ban has been doing lately but these i just i can't and the little tips are tortoise shell so you guys you guys already know so those are all of my summer fashion essentials for this year if you guys still haven't seen my summer beauty essentials video that i filmed last week be sure to check that out again i'll leave that in the description thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video hi everyone in today's video i'm gonna talk <clears throat> and i'm gonna hold and i'm gonna a, it rides up my butt like nothing else. Dexter, go to your bed. There's these are this is this next thing.